Um, hello again people, uh, right it's uh, Friday afternoon, evening, just one minute to six in the evening in the UK. I've been away from the charts for um, a few hours and um, I thought it was worth mentioning what I do when I am away from the charts, just like when I'm asleep and get up in the morning. Um, I'm looking for obvious uh, um, potential reversals. I do like to trade this uh, time of day as well and I'm not sure that I mention that uh, very often but uh, end of the day reversals uh, quite often happen and um, what we can see here is the monthly chart so I'll draw my relevant monthly levels on you don't need to do all that up here and everything because obviously we're way down here and we're just looking for a little scalp same thing uh, with the weekly charts uh, anything that's near the price that I think might uh, affect the price uh, and I did put that monthly low in there because obviously, um, you know, if price is going to go back up, it will smack that. But uh, I can't see it doing a uh, whatever it is, 5,000 pip move or something like that. So, um, but I do it out of habit. Then the daily, I stick the uh, yesterday's high and low on there. And um, I do actually put today's low, even though we're not, um, we're not uh, trading to that. But it... <coughs> It's obviously created a level of support at some stage. The price has bounced back, so you might as well do them as a uh, good measure if you're going to do this, uh, what I do. Then H4, the last H4 candles and the lows of all the H4 candles that the price might uh, affect. I didn't put that one on because, um, you know, we're nowhere near that and I'm just after a few pips. Same thing, H1 now, all the H1 levels on the left-hand side. I know it looks an absolute mess, guys, but... Uh, all will become clear when we get nearer uh, to the actual trade and literally this is this has just all been done I was tempted to do it before I took the trade and make a video of it but um, uh, I did it this way round in the end so on the 30 minutes as well um, and then I called it a day I didn't bother with the 15 minutes because uh, there's you know you really will get too bogged down then you know for an entry up here you want to want to be looking for the 15 minutes and so on and so forth but uh, I wouldn't recommend trying to catch a reversal from a 15 minute chart go to the hourly and M30 at the very least now what you can see here and this is why I chose to uh, do this chart or pick this for the trade um, I had one eye over here as well and pound was the very weak um, and dollar you can see is very strong or quite strong so I do use that in my early analysis and um, so it's worth having uh, something like that on there and then uh, you know as I say the divergence was what uh, and this this really is this RSI is, is um, I, I trust it I need to do more uh, research to keep saying and perhaps I will if I get time this weekend but it is Mother's Day in the UK so um, and that was part of the reason I was away from the charts today. Pop some flowers round early because she's in self-isolation because of coronavirus. So, um, divergence, higher high, making a lower high. And it is on mine as well, but uh, obviously that doesn't matter to you. And then I just dropped straight down to the M, uh, M... Well, I did... Obviously, I look at every chart, so I would have looked at M15, make sure it was all looking good there and um, same with uh, the M5 and then ultimately you can see there is a gap here between an H4 low and uh, an M30 low and that was my trade uh, everything else was pointing to massive uh, down as I say weak pound um, perfectly uh, correlated uh, indicators and uh, let's just drag the trade onto the chart Literally, this is uh, probably got in, fed the dog, had some uh, food for myself, having uh, braved the shops. So it was a quick decision, uh, and you know it was the right decision as it turns out. Just scalped, as you can see, that as that has that support has uh, been tested numerous times, and that's that's the thing, guys. If you draw these lines. You know, there was a trade opportunity there. 
with the momentum move I wasn't around then but the lines are they're not what came first the lines or the trades the lines were there before the trade if you like before these moves uh, so because they're off the left hand side remember so you know you can see this uh, you've got you've got steps to trade to and from that's why I love this method so much and I love support and resistance drawn on precise candlestick highs and lows 25 pip possible trade there and when this broke down another nice 20 25 pip gap there and uh, you know that's it there's no other it, it forces you to be disciplined because you've got your indicator you cannot trade short if this is green uh, yeah that's right short if it's green if it's busted with um, with vigor below the 20 line on that you know it's just screaming trade at trade for you so um, you know I know my trading has transformed because I've forced myself to make these videos for you it's really no hardship and um, and obviously because of the way Aussie and Digger Digger one trade on Forex factory so um, you know spread the fun as it were that's my motto you know at the, at the end of the day it costs nothing just to uh, try and help people so 22 pip move there you've got your reversal quali quality reversal as well low high higher low higher high followed by high low forget that inside bar there lower low and close below break and close and Bob's your uncle and uh, that's it guys and that was a nice little 11 or 12 pip move which is two days my daily target yeah it was about net net 12 pips without looking at the actual trade something like that anyway it happened pretty quick I I, I uh, it it just d didn't quite hit my target that blue thing there so uh, I closed it manually in fact no I hadn't managed to put my take profit onto the chart that's right <laughs> this is a one minute chart remember I couldn't put my take profit on quick enough so I closed it manually and there must have been a tiny little bit of slippage but uh, here it goes again to the next level and if that level breaks well we've got a resistance uh, h4 resistance below us you've got the um, the uh, pivot it's the daily pivot actually then in there the uh, yeah the the middle so uh, it's gone all that way up above the pivot and now it's coming back to test it uh, I'm gonna pause this and see whether it does actually hit that one because uh, you know I've drawn the lines now, might as well have observed them. Okay guys, I'm back and um, I've just had to make a revision to this uh, uh, chart because, uh, because I was up here when I was trading, I hadn't filled in the uh, lower uh, H1 and M30 lines um, before this H4 low because uh, I didn't need to because I was only going to be trading that little tiny little move that, that I was looking at there uh, which uh, as you know is still double what I used to go for in in regard pip so oops so I've been watching this with interest that's the one we want green on the bottom of that um, <clears throat> just double checking I've got the uh, that one there I'm sure I did oh my mouse don't, don't do this to me mouse yeah I did do um, so now I can uh, do the M30 that was H1 and uh, so this is what I do to everything that is below the price as it were that may stop my um, move down so um, M15 I'm not bothered about as I said before M5 
and uh, now we're just checking the um, the uh, histo double check M30 yeah that's right 15 5 I'm checking the histos 5 looks like it's going to go in a minute it's turned from red to uh, green to red now this was interesting as well I took my trade and I said we're aiming for that H4 low well um, and then you know I needed to revise it because I've not filled in the uh, in between lines which I'll just explain to you um, the other interesting thing I thought here was this uh, this bounce also had divergence uh, on it so shows a little bit of exhaustion to the downside by the looks of it and even that um, that move there you go lower high a lower low rather higher low lower low lower low uh, but even that so you've got this reversal here you've got um, your one high low lower high lower low so you needed a break of and a close above that to consider thinking about longs and uh, it did it broken close so uh, you'd be silly to short that until it did the same the other way round so uh, this low high high low high high needs to be we need to break and close below that low there and then you can get back into the potential short trade and I don't think it did let's just put our it repelled the price difficult to see what the exact low is. Low is 6115 and we can count an open as a break because obviously it's closed maybe a gap down close 6243 no so it didn't 6115 6243 um, but if this one breaks and closes below it then we're back on for the short as it were and because this is broken and closed below that uh, level there any gap we've got below that should be tradable so to that level there 25 pips so and the reason I'm not too worried about this now is because it's not valid um, support because it's in a downtrend valid support has to force the price higher uh, than the previous high so uh, I hope that makes sense guys so this is my all of these are minor supports let's put it that way they're all minor supports because they haven't forced the price up in an uptrend so you know whilst they are support so you could say major support rather is the stuff way over here that's create that's forcing the price higher and higher so major support is a real worry that's why we draw the levels on the lows of the left hand side minor support is there to be broken and that's on the right hand side if that makes any sense I hope it does I hope I'm not confusing you and I'll pause it again and see whether this thing will go through it. I know it's a long video, guys, but uh, I'm done for the day. And just observing what's going on. I mean, obviously, um, you know, it's the close of the, um, well, the nearly the end of the US session now everyone's gone home from the UK banks well perhaps they haven't now in this busy period but uh, normally they would so this could uh, this doesn't have to go anywhere really um, but uh, as I say that's where this comes in so handy you know if it's hugely weak the pound which isn't the weakest it could be now and the dollar was massively strong uh, then uh, I don't know how this is calculated but um, 
it would you never really want to be entering a trade at uh, the 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 extreme as it were you know I took this one because um, price was moving so fast there was momentum you can clearly see massive momentum and now look what's here there's nothing massive interest nothing so all of these things you need to think about that's why this histo is uh, so good plus this divergence now there was no divergence anywhere near apart from downward divergence for me when I was uh, considering this chart so I hope this isn't I really hope this doesn't confuse you too much guys it's just my experience really I suppose I will pause this and we'll just see what happens but this is uh, you know the reason I, I've explained my reasons why I got in there with the price action I mean there's plenty of room to the downside as you can see massive um, and if people are taking profits that's how it works they've made profit uh, in the long this long um, up trend here on the H1 chart and uh, now it's take profit time which is the time of the day and the end of the week as well in my opinion that is it's just my opinion of course What's it doing? I'll pause it, come come back to it, see what it does. So I'm back and uh, look at that. Momentum comes back into the market. It breaks that 20 line there. So where were we? Put a level on that. That's the break of the 20, that bar there. So, and it broke through that um, H1 low, closed through it, and uh, that was also incidentally the um, <coughs> low, high, high, low, high, high. And that low was closed through as well on exactly the same bar. So, <coughs> that was a uh, trigger to get into that trade. which is that point there and uh, would have given you more than 23 pips to that uh, green line there level level there 22 pips say oh and spread so 20 pips and um, it smashed it smashed through the um, pivot as well which I don't really um, sort of uh, use as you probably know from if you've watched any of my videos um, and uh, what have we got below us uh, so the main thing is make sure you get uh, try to enter when the price is below that 20 line on there I don't know who built this indicator um, I did try to find out and uh, and how they traded it but uh, those lines are there and for a reason and um, you know obviously it does what it says on the tin absolutely incredible I love that Indy I love it I'm so glad I found it and I'm, I'm sure I'm certain there's masses of other ways to trade it I'm certain of it um, so but I won't put that in this video and if any one of you is using it differently to me please put it in the comments and um, and that's it we've got uh, an H4 high below us that I thought might get tested Remember, when uh, support is broken or resistance is broken, it then comes back to test it as support. Um, and, uh, you know, we could try between these lines. So it's so important that you do those lines. And, um, and, uh, and then trade the levels. So support, resistance, trend analysis, and uh, a bit of indicator to help us. And this lovely hourly 8 ma which is the 480 on the one minute chart there it is ema okay guys that's it um i don't think i'll be making any more videos today i hope you enjoyed this one and um yeah i hope something made that eureka moment or light bulb moment go off that's why i keep repeating it because there's so much information i forget to mention and um 
so it needs to be Groundhog Day, day in, day out. That's how I learned anyway. So I hope uh, uh, when I listen, used to listen to my mentor, I still hear some of the stuff he says in my head when I'm trading all those years ago, 15 years ago now. So um, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Weekend even. And stay safe with the coronavirus. Keep washing those hands.